Hey everyone, it's Miss Brandon and Miss Christine from the Greensboro Public Library back with another building challenge. This month's theme is disaster proof. Creating houses and vehicles with building toys is lots of fun until disaster strikes. Here is your challenge. Can you engineer a building that can survive a natural disaster like an earthquake? First, what is an earthquake? An earthquake occurs when two tectonic plates pressing against and along each other slip, causing the ground to shake. Tectonic plates are the Earth's surface, the crust and the upper part of the mantle, which float atop the molten rock of the Earth's mantle. Here is a map of Earth's existing tectonic plates. Earthquakes occur along their edges. An earthquake's epicenter is the point directly over where the earthquake starts. The closer to the epicenter, the stronger the earthquake is felt. The moment magnitude scale measures the strength of earthquakes. The higher the magnitude, the more damaging the effects of the earthquake on people and buildings. Here are some descriptions of how each ma magnitude affects buildings and people. In August last year, an earthquake struck North Carolina with a magnitude of 5.1. Now, how can you recreate an earthquake to test your creations? Place it on a cookie sheet and slide it back and forth and sideways rapidly. Or if you have a trampoline, place it on there and bounce it around. Challenge accepted. Let the testing begin. Let's see how sturdy this structure is. I wonder if it has to do with the fact that they're held together with magnets. This time I used the magnet blocks, but I made the structure a little bit shorter and I doubled the layer of blocks to see if that would make a difference. Let's see. That did seem to hold up better. The structure warped a little bit, but it didn't fall down or fall over. Okay, the bridge that I built here is awfully tippy. That is definitely not disaster proof. I wonder how I can make it a little bit stronger. I've shortened it, but it doesn't give it enough stability. Hmm, what is the next step? I've made it basic and low to the ground. And I think that's the secret of its success. Let's see how this structure holds up. Pretty good. It slid, but it didn't fall down or fall over. Let's see how this one stands up. It doesn't. I've added some weight to see if that'll help it from tipping over. And it did. Part of it fell off, but I'm going to call that a success. Let's see how this one holds up. Hmm, it didn't fall over, but it did shift a lot. Let's see how this structure holds up to shaky circumstances. good. Now it's time to try it for yourself. You can find more information on earthquakes with the following titles available on the NC Kids Digital Library.
Thanks for joining us. We'll be back next month with more fun challenges.